welcome to the um, pilot and the introduction for my new video blog. This is the cold opener, which means a short 10 second or thereabouts piece of camera, an introduction of what's to come, and then the opening titles. So, what's to come is going to be chocolate covered bacon. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. And some makeup, which we bought at Sephora yesterday. It's awesome. And then whatever else. Um, just kind of making up as I go along. Need a wide angle lens. But um, we'll see how it goes. Roll the credits. <laughs> So, a few days ago we visited Universal Studios Hollywood. Now if you're familiar with Universal Studios in Orlando, you'll be familiar with um, a section of the theme park called City Walk. And City Walk contains uh, cinema, shops, boutiques, all sorts of um, well, really nice establishments. And one of the things there is a, is a sweet shop, a chocolate shop, called Sparky's. Now, Sparky's is a gourmet chocolate shop. They sell salted caramels and um, all kinds of exotic treats. Um, and one such treat is this. Chocolate covered bacon. I'm not joking. It's basically crispy deep fried bacon. Uh, covered in chocolate, so um, that's that's really healthy, right? And um, yeah, um, th they sell that, uh, and so I bought some because doing a video blog, it seemed like a good idea, and I was hungry, so I bought that. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, so no. You look, I'm. Hang on. Mm. I really like chocolate and I really like bacon. They are not a match made in heaven though. That does not work. No, chocolate Mars bars? Um, no, you know. Deep fried Mars bars? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Sorry, Sparkies. Sorry, Sparkies. Chocolate covered bacon. Anywho. Right, I mentioned in the intro that as well as <laughs> chocolate covered bacon, which we should probably never mention again, makeup. Um, uh, last night, Antonia and I went to Sephora. <laughs> no, um, it's like it's like a superstore for cosmetics. Imagine imagine John Lewis and Debenhams and new Superdrug and Boots all crammed into one incredible shop and a whole ton of things that you can't buy in the UK. So Sephora, and we bought loads of swag. Um, I bought some brushes. I've actually finished my brush set at last. Um, and a few extra ones too. And also, um, I issued them a challenge in Sephora. But I'll get back to that in a moment. So I'm going to go through some of the brushes that I've bought. Because um, brushes, if you like makeup, brushes are awesome. Um, and then I'll get back to the, to the makeup challenge. So um, just a moment while I open the bag and um, get some swag. <laughs> that rhymes. Okay, first of all, brushes. Um, now, I've, even though I've got an old Mac 184, I've got I've gotten pretty much the full set of Mac brushes, including discontinued brushes. Um, they're fantastic. However, um, one of the one of my favourite Mac powder brushes is the um, uh, the Mac 184 fan brush. 
Now, it's been discontinued, and I've only got one of them, and they're quite hard to get. But Sephora have made a new brush from the, in their Pro set called the Sephora Number no. 92 Fan Brush. And it's fantastic. Look at this. Um, so if you don't know, Sephora Pro brushes all come with these little plastic protectors. Do you pop, pop open? And you can slide them down the shaft. And I'll get rude. Like that. So it even looks like the duo fibres. And honestly, the bristle density on these are amazing. Sephora Pro brushes are absolutely superb. So in addition, I bought a few more um, Sephora Pro brushes, which really fill out my brush set, and I'll go through them all one Okay, so next up are these um, um, powder and contouring brushes. Um, they're number 77, which is a just an amazing uh, contouring brush, um, and the number 99 powder brush. Now I've been, I'm not very good at contouring, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm still practicing. And I've been using my MAC brushes um, for dry powder and the contouring. But the, the, the MACs um, aren't that great for liquids, whereas um, this is absolutely superb as a liquid contouring brush. Um, I can't wait to try this out. It's fantastic. The density, it almost feels like a kabuki. Um, it's very, very firm. I don't know if you can see that. The bristles. Um, they, they, they keep their integrity, so this is going to be fantastic. It's almost like a sponge. It's so dense. So I think this is going to be perfect for a liquid contour. Um, and then the big, the big number 91 powder brush. I'm just going to pop this open. This is, this is superb. When I can get the cap off. There we go. Look at that. That lash. That's a number 91. Um, these Sephora Pro brushes are absolutely fantastic. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than, than, than MAC, uh, although they look like MAC brushes, but the, 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 the bristle on them is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, that's a big, big powder brush. Um, everything for face to highlighting, all sorts. Superb. Okay, so next up, these three little detailing brushes. Um, we have the 27 and the 23 and the 15 in the um, Sephora Pro um, collection. And this is, I think, my favorite of all of these. This is superb. This is, um, I can get it open, the Sephora Pro number 23 angled eyeliner brush. Now I don't wear that much eyeliner because my eyes are, are tattooed. However, if you want to really, you know, add to your look, note to self, open these little bastards before we do the video blog. Um, right. So if you want to add to your look, check that out. It's so firm. Uh, and these will handle liquids really well too. Some of the MAC brushes can be a little too soft, um, not that good with liquids. Uh, Sephora Pro brushes um, are very good at that. I'll get back to some of that, something regarding that with the next brushes. Um, then we have just an eye blending brush. To be honest, this is not, um, if, if you, if MAC do a very similar blending brush, um, but I need another one for my away kit. So, um, so there we go. Again, Sephora Pro, very, very, very good quality. Um, I mention MAC a lot because they're kind of the gold standard when it comes to brushes. They aren't the best brushes, but you can't go wrong with a MAC brush. So it's, it's, why, they're, it's why they're the standard. They are the, they're, they're the brush that all others are, are sort of measured against, you know? Um, and then finally, in the detailing brushes, is a Sephora Pro number 15, a small shadow brush. Again, very, very high quality brush, superb bristle. 
honestly, if you get a chance to shop in the Sephora, you, you need to check out their brushes. They're absolutely fantastic. Very good value for money. Um, and they'll, they'll, they're superb. I really can't recommend them highly enough. Um, so that's the end of the Sephora brushes, but I have two more brushes from um, a company I've never used before called Makeup Forever. And they're lush. Have a look at this. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a Sephora exclusive brand called Makeup Forever. And they are just superb. This is the Makeup Forever 144. Um, it's a it's a highlighter and a precision contour brush. Um, and just look at look at the, ah, it's so good. It's got um the detailing in the handle. It's got like a grain effect and then a dark metal tip. So they look really good. It's a synthetic bristle, so it's easy to to carry around for an away kit. Um, and it's just fantastic now. Like a lot of synthetics, don't don't really want to use them um, with liquids too much. This isn't always true, of course. Um, this is a superb powder highlighter. Um, very very nice if you're using powder concealers or um, just highlighting. Um, and also, the liquid lip brush. Now Mac, Mick, and Bobby Brown make almost identical uh, versions of this um, however this has a different bristle to the MAC which, which unlike the other brushes makes it a fantastic for liquid um, lipsticks and I'll, I'll show you the, the Kat Von D one later which I, this is I, and I tried this brush out for the Kat Von D lipstick and it's certainly better than the MAC brush I have um, and it's just lush look at that how nice is that same wood effect, but it is actually wood. Um, let me just pop it back in. Eee, it's in your purse, it's teeny, it's lush. So that's um, my brush swag. Now, the challenge I issued uh, to this lovely chap there called um, Ramsey, no Game of Thrones reference, um, was I want. A, I'm really lazy when it comes to makeup. I hardly ever do makeup unless I'm really going out, out, as we Welsh say. So um, I wanted something that was quick but quite bold as well. And so instead of doing eyes, I wanted to focus on my lips. Um, and I quite like a strong red lip. Um, so I wanted something with a big bright lip and then no more than four or five other items that I can do in five minutes and then be gone. And that was the challenge that I gave them. And they came back with a couple of surprises, but a very, very fast look and a bunch of products. So what we have, this is, this is so the start of it, is this. The Kat Von D, is that right around? The Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It's lush. This is called Outlaw, it's bright red. It's so fabulous. Looks like a lip gloss, but it's a lipstick. It's very, very heavily pigmented. It's superb and it stays on. We went for a steak last night and this was still on after the steak. It's freaking incredible. So there's that. Then the Anastasia Brow Gel. And again, Anastasia, like Kat Von D, quite hard to get in the UK, although Sephora do now ship to the UK, so that's, and they're very fast, they've bought a few products from them and they're coming over three days. So a brow gel, um, it's, it's really nice, and I'll put this on shortly, and I'll, uh, you'll see that working. And then, which really surprised me, a couple of benefit items, High Beam and Cha Cha Tint. Now we already have these. And I'll be honest, I bought the high beam yesterday just because I wanted, to, I wanted to use it straight away. Boots do a number seven equivalent to this, which has twice as much in it for about half the price. And I really can't tell the difference. I've even gone into Benefit before. And they said, oh, you got your high beam on. I'm like, yeah, it's actually the number seven. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's superb. It's a really nice highlighter. 
and then cha cha tint is a bit it's a liquid tint it's it's you can use it as a, I use it as a blusher um, and it gives a really nice color and it's and it works very well with bright reds too so we'll come back to that and finally something I'd never heard of before a Borean CC cream. I've already got CC creams, I'll be honest, but again, I wanted some new products and I wanted something to wear while I was away. Um, and it's fantastic. It's got almost no pigment, so it's it, it's almost invisible when it's on, but it, it just flattens and neutralizes everything. It gives you this really flat, matte complexion. It just flattens everything. It's fantastic, which is a brilliant way of adding adding colour to that. So with the cha-cha and the high beam and the, and the brows, you can just make all these areas pop. And all of this took five minutes. And the best thing is, <laughs> and I know I've just bought a whole bunch of new brushes, and I do like brushes, but all of these can be put on with fingers alone, or the applicators in the pots if you want to. So you can really travel incredibly light with these. So um, let, let's, let's see, let's see if I can match how fast um, Ramsey was in Sephora last night. I'm going to put these products on and then um, we'll see if I can do five minutes. Okay, so I've um, cheated just a little. I've done my skin prep, so I've moisturised and ready to go. So I'm just going to put my hair up and then we can start the clock. Now I'm going to be using this mirror here. I don't have my normal mirror at home. <laughs> so this may be the this may be a pretty crappy makeup job, I'm not gonna lie. But let's see if I can do this in in, in five minutes or less. Let's see how that goes. Um but I won't stop the clock until I put my hair up because I think that's only fair. And 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 I think with skincare we should be doing that anyway, shouldn't we? So Also that really hurts because I've got sunburn on my shoulders. <laughs> Don't brush your shoulders when you've got sunburn. Look, look, look. I'm such a twat. I went out with a, I went out to Disney yesterday. California Adventure. Awesome, by the way. California Adventure. Awesome. Yeah, no sun cream. The fuck. Right, anyway. That really hurts. Skin then, let's begin. Okay, CC cream down. Touch a tint. <laughs> this looks so silly when you first pick it up. applicators so they're really fast and what you dab this on under the eye just above the cheekbone and blend it in you're basically just highlighting the um, the Color. Okay. Finally. No, not finally. Next. Brows. So even though I have tattooed brows, that's tattooed the skin. Um, so the hair on top, I have them tinted anyway, but it's still a good idea to just give them a little bit of boost, as we can see. Happy with that. Finally, now finally, the lip pigment. <laughs> Honestly, this stuff is amazing. Notice, um, I got tattooed lips. 
no pencil, no mat first, just applying it directly from the tube. to wipe any uh, over the mat, don't wipe it, wipe it down into the lip line and you can just go over it again. So this little dab here, pull it down, I think we're good. And we're done. I had to get a bit closer because you know, I'm old, my sight's going and all that. I don't know how long that was, but I think it was less than five minutes. A bit rushed, and my mirror is miles away, but there you go. Five minutes or less, and I'm ready for some steak. Good times. So that's kind of it for the pilot. Um, it's going to be pretty crap, I'm sure. Uh, it was my first sort of stab at it, making it up as I go along. I do have some scripts, some ideas. Um, this is kind of how the format's going to be for the um, freestyle part and then the other side of the show show that sounds awful blog is going to be um, regarding weight loss and my my, my journey my, my getting the weight off I'm, I'm, I'm massively morbidly obese which isn't cool have been for a long time and I've tried a lot of things which haven't worked um, and to be honest to be honest the, um, that's kind of the main thing that stopped me from doing a blog before, is just my size. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't like it. <laughs> um, I just haven't really been able to, to fix that, to get the weight off, but um, I've got some amazing people around me at the moment who are incredibly motivational. Thanks, Sammy and Ellie. You guys rock. Um, and so it seems to have, have, have kicked into a gear. We've. Um, we're making good progress, the weight's coming off. I'm even training on holiday now, which I've never done before. I've always said I would, but never really have. Um, my fitness levels are massive. This is the first time I've gone around theme parks um, and I've been comfortable in the rides that I've gone on. I fitted in quite nicely, although there's some, I'm still not there yet. Um, and also I haven't been knackered, I haven't been tired. I've been bouncing around the parks, which has been superb. So that's gonna be part of the weight loss side of the, the blog we're gonna have a weight loss part and a and a shit that I like part be it video games makeup um, gadgets new pose headphones and these 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 rock um, on whatever so um, hopefully you guys like it hopefully you find it interesting um, hopefully it's not too crap once I finish the editing and and it's all done and we'll see where it goes. Um, I've been asked lots of times to do a video blog like this. This really should have been the introduction, shouldn't it? Yeah, I need to rewrite this going forward. But we'll see, and hopefully it will um, help other people in a similar position to me to show that if I can get the weight off, and I'm nearly 40, I'm nearly 50, fuck. I'm nearly 50 years old, and um, if I can suddenly find a way to get the weight off that works and maybe somebody else can too and, and if that does that'll be amazing that'll be worth every second and pound spent doing this so let's see where it goes and um, if you've watched this far you're probably nuts or you like i don't know but thank you thank you very much for watching and to all my friends who have posted amazing things on facebook thank you and um Finally, it's, it's, it's what's known as the call to action, and that's somewhere down here, there'll be buttons to follow, subscribe, comment below. Um, that would be cool. And now we're moving on. Thanks, guys. This thing is horrible. I'm still, I'm still chewing this thing, it sucks. Don't, don't. Hmm. See, multiple takes on a video blog, and I don't really know what I'm doing. I just end up eating loads of 
fucking chocolate covered crispy bacon. Hope you guys appreciate this shit. Because seriously, it's fucking awful. I need a Red Bull.